What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Lonely Space, which is an immersive sim RPG that appears to be set on some kind of Doom 3 space station. If you're a fan of anything like System Shock, this will probably be one to keep an eye on. I've been seeing lots of GIFs and whatnot of it floating around on Twitter. So now that we're in the Steam Next Fest, I figured I would give it a go and see if the game is something that we all wanted to play for ourselves. I'm going into most of these demos completely and totally blind so if after watching this you wanted to get the demo for yourself i got a link for you down below in the description on top of that you can also take a look down there if you wanted to find a link to my discord and my twitch stream where i'm live most days of the week let's go ahead and hit it we only got 30 minutes to kill you've woken up we have almost lost hope. Please put a protective suit on and proceed to the bridge. The captain left a message for you. Just for me? Special? What is it? My birthday? Alright, so I can have a light suit or I can have a dark suit. I'm a big dark mode user, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and just kind of like tap into my angsty 15-year-old self. Alright, so now that we've got the, uh, the old My Chemical Romance suit on, what do we got here? A very reflecty access panel. Okay, doesn't look like I can really do anything with it for right now. Oh, that one worked, though. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going down into the recesses of the ship. Fair. Well, I suppose that works out. It looks like there's another one on this side. What's going on with these chests and things over here? Oh. That's a hell of a gun right there. I'm gonna call that the compensator right there. Let me get that bad boy. Yeah, oh, we have ADS. So many games in this genre, like Immersive Sims... Do not use ADS, and for the life of me, it confuses the hell out of me because ADS is like the most immersive thing ever. Looks like we've got a panel that we can touch on right there. It looks like I don't have a sprint. Well, I kind of have a sprint, but you got to dash into it. First of all, robot, you don't dictate what I do and don't do. I'm the commanding officer now. I have a gun. Does anybody? Do you have a gun? Because I have a gun. All right, and that makes me think you should listen to me. The gun is the tool by which you achieve all other tools. Anything good in here? Oh, a space cola. Sure, don't mind if I... Oh, we've got like a little Tarkov-style grid in... A uh, little inventory. A chocolate bar sounds pretty good. We might need some morale later. A beer right there. I like beer. I like wine, cereal bars. I mean, potato chips sounds like breakfast to me. A first aid kit, huh? I can just, like, knock on it. Can I do anything with the trash bin? Oh, there can be things inside the trash. All right, I'm learning things right now. Run seems to be a little bit slow, so we'll probably want to pick that up ever so slightly. We've got toilets. we got faucets. we got living areas. We've got super cool Star Trek auto doors. Is my character, like, weirdly short, or is the ship weirdly large? I don't know. Where's the captain at? Starting the captain's recording. Hi, this is Sarah. If you're hearing this, then you've come to your senses. The hibernation pod failed to wake you up from sleep along with the others. We were forced to start an endless program of awakening attempts and proceed to the mission entrusted to us. Wait for us in the shuttle. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back as soon as we figure out what happened here. Below in the box, there are weapons and the necessary provisions. See you soon. What a great captain. Leaves us a gun and three cereal bars like some kind of corrupt pirate. Me. I have no instructions for this case. You are free to decide what to do next. Stay waiting or go in search of them. I won't interfere you. Mm-hmm. See, I have a problem trusting robots because robots in video games always say something like that. And then inevitably they're like cycling up the minigun turrets when I get to the area they don't want me to see. So... How do we get across this gulf? You know what I mean? Like, I don't trust you, robot. I don't trust you, and I certainly don't like you. So just stay out of my way. I've got a gun. I like the sound effects. Definitely sounded like we... Oh. So we landed in some kind of ship. I was in a stasis pod for some reason. Why'd they put me in a stasis pod? At least they've got the traffic cones out. It means there must be some like municipal government that was here at some point doing something. I don't know if it's worth it to take a look around the hangar or not. With games like this, I'm sort of convinced that it's usually a good idea. 
But I'm gonna climb up on this stairwell that I clearly am not supposed to be up on. I like how the front of the ship just has like a big glass observatory on it. It's kind of cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a ship design like that. Interesting stuff. We do have a door over here. Looks like it's free and unlocked. The computer console on this side. 56, 327. Okay, 50, well, here. 56, 56, sorry, I tried to do it on the numpad, 327. Password denied. Oh, 321. Somebody's got bad handwriting where you can't distinguish their sevens from their ones. They got to do what I do. I got a bad grade on a paper in college because of this, because my seven, because my eights looked like fives and my sevens looked like ones. So I had to completely change my handwriting in order to keep a professor happy. And so I still do it to this day where every single one I put the little foot on it, like the little bottom foot serif or whatever that thing is called, where you just go swoop and you hit it on the bottom. And then with my eights, I used to go like that. But now I do two zeros and just connect them like that. I don't know. I had to do it, man. I had to do it. My grades were on the line. Uh, we have opened up what looks like some kind of emergency bunker door. All right. Anything in the trash can? Nothing inside of there. Gun feels pretty good. I wanted to give it a go before we, like, fiddled around with it too much. Reload animation probably needs a little bit of work. But... Everything else is looking okay. Anything? Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, okay. So we can, like, move things around to help us access locations and things. Gotcha. Fair enough. Do I have, like, a flashlight on my suit? Take audio log. Oh. If you are listening to this recording, then you disobeyed my orders and left the shuttle. I guess something happened, and you had to. At the top of the air, there is a security where you can use why did I just go through so isn't that supposed to like just lightly wash me was it like really hot or something me too health stim packs probably just a tutorial to get me to use a health stim pack alright uh, oh there's a hole in the floor I fell right into it back when I was a roofer we felt it off a roof before we left for the night and there was a spot where there was no plywood underneath the felt but we had to felt it because rain was coming in so that it wouldn't get inside the hole and ruin the insulation and so anyways we circled it with red spray paint like the brightest red orange spray paint you've ever seen in your life with probably like an eight foot x on top of it and giant words that said don't step here anyways it was about eight minutes the next morning before somebody stepped on it and fell through the roof so that should give you some rough idea of people falling in holes and their proclivity for doing it We've got a door energy element. Oh, I just picked that up. That looked really, really large. And so I was personally kind of worried. Oh, it goes over here. All right. That repeating sound effect's got to go. Doors open. Oh, okay. So it's an airlock. Got oh, well, it's not an airlock. It opened behind us. I would definitely feel more comfortable if I had a flashlight right now. I feel, I feel pretty passionately about wanting a flashlight in this given moment. It looks like the emergency lighting is on. And it also looks like this place is probably not doing super great. I mean, there's sparks falling, you know what I mean? There's sparks falling, there's lights rotating, there's klaxons. Okay, maybe not a klaxon, I made that part up. I think we're all good here. I don't see any pressing threats like in this moment. That door opens up right there, and there's a door energy element. I'm gonna wait until I've... Oh, there's the klaxon. I knew we were missing something. Oh, that guy has no head. Beautiful. I guess I'll take the gun. I don't know if I need it. Can I unload it? I can. I can unload the gun. All right, we'll move that over to the bottom right corner. Just in the off chance that we have durability, I saw a little meter on there that seemed to imply our gun might break down as we're firing it. Alright, we found the energy element. 
So let's go ahead and grab that right there. And obviously, we'll take the sensitive electronic equipment and slam it against every single wall all the way down the hallway. Because that's just how we treat our electronics around here. That's called good stewardship. Oh, there's another one in here. Okay. That's a really, really good light bulb blinking on and off sound effect. I wonder where they captured that one from. That's a oh, we need three. I didn't realize this one needed three elements. All right. It's cool, man. I got your elements right here. Throw that on in there. Supply this bad boy with some nuclear energy. Uh, I don't know what that thing is, but it looks ugly and angry, so I shot it, and then I heard something from behind me. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to mag dump it real fast. Is it dead? A creeping. Okay. Where did it come from? Well, there's another one. It's okay. I can do this. It looks kind of gooey, dude. Like, it's got, like, a shininess to it that looks like it's covered in boogers. Reload the blicky real fast. Gunplay feels pretty solid so far. Like, it feels hefty. It feels chunky. Uh, the game actually has true it has true semi-auto as well. I hate it when games call a gun semi-auto. But there's a cooldown on trigger squeezes. So you have to be like, bang, 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 bang. Bang. Like, nothing makes a gun feel worse than that to me when it's listed as semi-auto. Like, you should pretty much be able to be like, bang, 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 bang. Like, have you ever heard, like, a shootout? It, people squeeze the trigger kind of rapidly and erratically! Like that right there. Uh, example A. <laughs> oh, good. The infected. Damn, dude. Them toenails. You've been climbing trees? Like, got a side hobby as a velociraptor? Got them centaur boots, bro. What the hell is this thing? Oh, God. Okay. I don't know what that thing is, but I'm going to murder it real fast. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a temporarily embarrassed gunslinger, and I have no bullets left. Oh. A shotgun, eh? Don't mind if I do. Those are really, really cool weapon models that they flipped around sideways to put inside of the inventory. Like, the weapon model sprites look really, really good. Now, I'll put that in the two slot just to make things simpler. And, like, do I have a realistic way out of here? Am I going to have to pull a grate off the wall or something? Uh, looks like i got to go through the ventilation shaft, so we're doing the yippee ki -yay thing right now. But I don't have a machine gun. Okay. Hello. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, God. Okay, yep. They're everywhere. You woke up. Welcome back to the world of living. I'm Dr. Clark. This is my lab. I recreated your body and consciousness. Look around. You can take whatever you need. But hurry, we have a lot of things to do. Okay, first of all, was that my butt right there on on the screen? Because honestly, I've been keeping it tight at Pilates. This is not like an attractiveness thing. This is this is not, you know, this is not a sexual thing. This is just me acknowledging the hard work of someone else that has clearly been putting in the effort on top of the stair stepper. It takes it takes a lot of effort. There's a measuring device. That's okay. I don't think I need the measure of anything. All my equipment is gone. I don't know exactly where I am right now. In some kind of med lab. I guess I was maybe supposed to die right there. There is no electricity in this part of the deck. The doors are locked. Use the ventilation to the right of the door. Okay. Hopefully they get real voice acting up in here. I'm not a I'm not an enormous fan of AI voice acting in video games. Like I know what you got to do. I know you gotta do what you gotta do when it comes to budgetary constraints, I get it. But at the same time, it is a major detractor as far as, like, quality control goes. So I can get out through the vent. It's pinging that for me. I was kinda trying to have a look around, though, and see if there was anything dope in here. Shotgun felt punchy the two times I got to fire it before I panicked and was consumed by weird bowel worms. 
in case you were wondering. Just throw that over there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Back through the vent. Nothing bad just happened to me inside of a vent. A piece of pipe. Well, this seems like a market downgrade from what we had before. There can be more mutants. Move quietly. Do they see my light? It looks like they don't see my light. Can I assassinate him, like, stealth mode style? Oh, okay. Apparently, we don't have that long of a reach. There we go. I knocked him out. I got a times three multiplier right there for it. This guy's got some kind of blood vial on him. Good stuff, good stuff. Lighting effects are actually quite good in this game. They're doing a decent job. I hear something on the right-hand side of me. It's either somebody with a macaroni paper plate bean shaker, or it's a monster. It could be either of those two outcomes. The left near the hatch is a dangerous mutant. Throw one of the measuring devices from the crate aside and make your way through the hatch. Don't even think mess with him. What would you say... If I told you, he's already trying to murder me. Like, what if I just kind of exposed you to that harsh truth that there is a very large dude trying to murder me right now? Ow. Did that guy just drop kick me to death? You died. Again. You are wasting precious time. One reassembly cycle takes a whole day. Be careful and don't get in trouble. Listen, robot, I don't need your input on my long-term survival, all right? Thus far, you have not been that helpful, you shit. All right, let's see what we can do around here now that we're back in the saddle. Back in this little area over here, there is a chest. I can't get inside of it, though, because I don't have the code. The panel also seems to be very, very busted. Hey, I brute forced it. Yay! <laughs> Cigarettes and potato chips, the finest things in life. Now that I got myself a couple packs of marbs and I'm ready to rage out with this space mullet, I think it's time to go. Uh, the big dude was over here, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, big dude's right there. I suggest we get on our merry way and just kind of like get the hell out of here. I don't know how long he's going to stay aggroed on us, but the power being out here is actually moderately inconvenient. You know, it sounds like his footsteps are right behind me. Uh, his footsteps are indeed right behind me. So let's get the hell out of here. Not that way. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay. Yep, hate everything about this. Don't like what's happening. Oh, look, there's one hanging from the ceiling like a vampire. Oh, they jumped too. That's really unfortunate. I'm going I'm going inside this little vent right here. Bye. It's okay. We're alive. Dude, if they come down that vent, I'm about to absolutely just brown my pants. Please don't let them come down there. They seem pretty they seem pretty cranky about the fact that I went down a vent. There's something over here and all I've got is like a pipe. I got a plumbing fixture. That's all I've got for a weapon. Really wish they would stop making noises back there. Oh, buddy. Hey, pal. How are we? Having an okay Saturday? There we go. Bash that thing's head in. There's something on the other side of that vent right there, too. It doesn't even look like the vent goes sideways. Can I smack his stupid arm? There we go. I smacked his stupid arm. Now we've got, like, what are these right here? Standard 9mm bullets. I would... 
I would like to have nine millimeter. That's that would be good. potato chips. Sure, yeah. A beer, absolutely. So do I need to eat or anything? Oh, it looks like eating just gives me health. Fair enough. I didn't know if there was going to be a hunger meter that was hiding around. So far, it's all right. It's a little bit buggy and it's a little bit jank. But like, aside from that, though, they seem to have a lot of the elements for making a game feel intense or anxious dialed in. And so that's perfectly fine considering this is a next fest demo. You know, this is not a finalized product. If it was in this state when it released for like 20 bucks or whatever, I'd be like, yeah, but it's a first pitch. So that's fine. Proof of concept, you know. Can I have a gun, please? I would like to I would like to have a firearm right about now. I feel passionately Turn on the breakers. Jesus. Looks like the fuses are blown. Look for spares in the lockers behind. Okay. Uh there's a Coca-Cola, some cigarettes, and there's our fuse. Where does the fuse go? Oh, in the fuse box. This is enough for only one circuit at a time. Dr. Skinner's lab should have spares. Find a way to get there. Okay, so we can only keep one breaker on at a time. Which breaker supplies to where we are right now? Kind of hard to say. I think we may have to look around a little bit. None of those three breakers seems to supply power to this area from what I can tell. But we do have an unlocked locker over here that I'm going to take a look at. Maybe we'll find something useful. Oh, that's not a locker. It's a do- I've unlocked the bathroom. Dead guy, you got anything for- Human flesh. Yeah, some $89. I'll take $89. A torn piece of human flesh that looks disgusting. 2077 on the mirror. People just leaving their credit cards laying around anywhere on this ship, man. You guys got to be careful about that stuff. 2077. 2077. Now this door is open. Oh, Christ. Okay. Yep, don't like that. Beat it to death! It's dead. It's okay, I got it. Did he eat that lady's head off? Oh, no, she still has a head, although I don't think knees are supposed to bend that way. An audio log. Today was my lucky day. Was it? Jack gave me a ring and promised <laughs> that we marry the next day when we returned home. I prepared a small gift for him in my locker in the break room. The main thing is not to forget the password. Count from one to four. So on a space station, your key code is one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the 2077. Oh, gun, dude. Thank you, God. Uh, I have very few bullets, though. So I think we are going to have to kind of, like, choose up a little bit when it comes to the way that we protect ourselves. Still, most of these enemies seem like it is optimal to engage them from a distance. I don't know which locker is hers, so we're just going to have to give it a go. Oh, it auto-fills for you, if you know. Health stim pack, two bottles of wine... Okay, so we were going for virility here. You know, I, I get it. You got to do what you got to do to keep things alive in the bedroom. You hit yourself with some pure oxygen, inject yourself with a stim pack, down an entire bottle of wine, and then get to work. That's how lovemaking is made right there. That's the process. I'm going to check this last lever. I've checked all three levers to figure out where the power is going to go, but so far, luck is not great. So with that breaker on... It's not immediately apparent where I go, actually. The other two had a door that was accessible, like, instantly from there. So with the final breaker, I don't know. There's probably a few more things that I could fiddle around with. I mean, there's still one locker that we haven't unlocked. But let's go through here real fast. And we'll kind of just get, like, a vibe for what we want to do here. I'm going to eat two whole bags of chips. It's called survival, Mom. All right, let's go through here. Sure, yeah. Definitely not going to kill me while I'm in here. Oh, a half worm. Beautiful. How tough do you think a half worm is? Well, tough enough to rip that guy apart. Let's just skip him. I don't... Ow! I'm just going to skip him because I don't have that many bullets. One day I may have more bullets... At which point, I will kill him. 
But for now, he gets to live. I have decided. Well, that's grim. All right, I'll take your stupid shotgun. I do not know what's going on. The screaming stopped a few days ago. I'm out of food for five days. There is a constant rattle coming from the ventilation. I hope Dr. Clark is back with help before I go nuts. I don't know if it's worth it to loot all this crap, but I'm going to do it anyways. I believe. Get the electronics. A repair kit. Alcohol bottles. Okay. I'd like to see a sort button added on into the inventory just to get things milled around. We do have a repair kit, though. So, contains tools for repairing weapons and other broken devices. Hey, that'll do it. I'll take it. Was that not a shotgun? Oh, I guess it's not a shotgun. Was it like a big revolver thing? Huh. I guess it's like a big old magnum revolver. I gotta figure out the door code to get out of here. Uh. There we go. Inside the medium container. Not a whole lot to be in love with, but definitely some more healing items. So I can take that. Oh, you just hit the button and the door opens. Poor Mr. Lee. My assistant locked himself with supplies and changed the password. Maybe you'll find a way to get in. Oh, I, I did figure out a way to get in. I'm guessing that that was a trigger that I was supposed to walk over when I looked inside that room, but instead when I came out of the door, I walked over the trigger. So they'll want to put another spot basically inside the vent as you're falling in so that that gets disabled if you didn't trigger it in the first place or maybe has an alternate dialogue. Oh, I thought maybe I could do something with the microscope. I guess not. I have a gun now, though, and the power's back on, so that's good. Cargo bay. Oh, is this where I was? This is where I was. I can take the zombies, I think. Like, I don't think they're too big of a problem. It's just that big nemesis dude. Oh, there he is right there. Okay. So in this case, it may be prudent to drop down since they're all up top and go around them a different way. Sounds like there's a bad guy over here, too. Maybe I can eliminate him. Got to use my eyeballs to do it, though. I actually can't see exactly where he's at. Maybe I should have jumped across onto the crate so that I could see. Either way, we're better armed this time. I would like to get back down into like that little trash compactor death pit that we were in so I can get my shotgun back. That's what I would really like. Definitely hear movement, but I don't know where. Okay, so there's some zombies down there. The crate right here. Just has human flesh inside of it. Just like everything else around. Is that a gun? If that's a gun, I want it. How do I detach that from the cart that it's on? So that I can gun people more effectively. Did you just try to pull out my heart, dude? I saw they tried to Kali Ma me, dude. Kali Ma. A machine gun turret. See, that's the AI is going to turn that on at some point. That entire, just for one can of Coke, huh? All right. I'm going to smack that fool up. There we go. There's another little one back there. I can't hit these without getting got. So I'm just going to get him up real fast. We'll just pepper him with the calico. Six bucks. Some blood. I would like to spend my credits at some point. Do I have to crouch jump to get in there? Oh, it looks like we have to go in over the top. Okay. You got anything? Blood. I like to imagine that I'm just like picking up all these critters after I get done murdering them. And then collecting their squeezins. And then 
finally a crate with a lock on it. And it looks like we need higher intelligence to get through here. Oh, it's Minesweeper? I'm not good at this. I never had the patience for this. Oh boy, access denied. Okay, so it looks like it spreads and we've got like a lockout. That's fair, that's fair. So we've got a 50, well we got a 33% here. I got something, I mean I think I got $15. So it's got to be, I mean, I guess it can be all three of those right there, I suppose. I made it. All right. I can do Minesweeper. What you got for me? Bullets? Please have bullets. A frag grenade. Okay. I'm sort of curious if a frag grenade's going to be enough to drop that big dude over there. Maybe? He's kind of big, man. He's large enough that I question. Which, is, it really says something about the sizable nature of that individual, right? Someone's so big that you're not quite sure if a frag grenade will get him. That's somebody that was blessed with tremendous stature. And also girthiness, I guess. Looks like all these doors are online now. We can hack that right there. I think if I get low, I may be able to get inside this room over here, too. Good sense of exploration, though. I'm feeling rewarded for looking around the map and actually taking my time and trying to find things. Mm -hmm. Access denied. What's in there? I don't want to stand up because I don't want to catch aggro. It's like some lockers and a chest. Looks like we may be able to use a ventilation shaft to get in there, though, in the first place. All right, let me see what I can do over here. Hack this bad boy open. Oh, it costs us money, so we wager. Well, that one was easy. It didn't take much effort at all, did it? There is a distinct possibility that we may have been heard. Ooh, they investigate gunshots. Interesting stuff. Where's my hand grenade at? Nope, don't do that. That was the wrong thing. Oh, on my G key. Is it just going to throw when I press G? I also don't know the distance of the throw. Oh, my man soaked a revolver bullet like he didn't even care. All right, patient 17. You're inside. Get rid of monsters, find the fuses and turn on the damn electricity. All right, I'm working on it. Yeah, go inside the Oh good, scratch marks and blood in the vent. Fantastic. Love it. Dead guy repair kit, human meat. Money, audio log. Control for a long time. I saw subject 17 pick up Dr. Skinner and throw him somewhere on crates and cargo area. I managed to get into the ventilation. We threw a scalpel at my back. I hope the cleanup team arrives soon. Me too, dude. Subject 17 soaked that bullet like he didn't even care. He ate that thing straight to the dome piece and was just like fine with it. Didn't even care in the slightest. Oh no, this doesn't even take me anywhere useful. This just loops back to the bathroom that I was already in. This may present a problem. Oh, these open. Oh, these are... Rude. Rude. That's how I'd like to imagine I would die, though. With just, like, spite in my veins. So these are shower units over... These are shower units over here. Maybe, maybe I'll take out something... A little bit less crazy. Mm, we got some money. Revolver bullets. That's good. That's really, really good. I will 100% take revolver bullets. 
Um, this has been Lonely Space. It's a little bit janky, but I think it's pretty good for a tech demo. Once they get all the voiceovers and everything in and they get things cleaned up, I see promise here. I think they did a great job with the ballistics. It feels fantastic. The only thing that I would really change on the out end of the video is get rid of the dash that's on the beginning of when you start to sprint and put that on a different key so that you can sprint without dashing first. That's a little bit, oh good, he's hanging from the ceiling like a bat monster, fantastic. But that's pretty much my only complaint so far. Other than that, I think I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat, and I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. The day up on the chopping block, we were fooling around with Lonely Space. Tomorrow, it'll be something else. See you next time.